Feeling loved and supported as an LGBTQIA plus youth comes with many challenges. Alizé Baker recalls her breaking point. It was pretty, pretty hard. Um, it was very hard because I didn't know who I was. Baker says she was without shelter, but not without hope, when a caseworker referred her to the Lost and Found organization. Yeah, I didn't know this place existed. The nonprofit provides LGBTQIA youth experiencing homelessness with resources such as shelter, food, and the skills to reach full independence. Thank you. You have a great one. Baker works at the organization's thrift store, where proceeds are used to support homeless youth. I'm so thankful that, you know, I put on this uniform with pride. I'm so thankful that I'm able to get up every day and I'm able to come to work. Finding a village of support can come in different ways. Yeah. For Princess Jawan Durbin, help came through mentorship. Within, you know, my journey and becoming a youth activist and a youth leader, I really had to learn how, one, to advocate for myself, um, and then to also teach other young people on how to advocate for themselves. His mentor, Cedric Pulliam, is a global public health and LGBT rights advocate who believes allyship and support can be life-saving. I think it's important that you have a tribe in a village no matter where you are. And when it comes to me as a black, same gender loving man, uh, I wanted to ensure that I had that village built. Princess has a message for parents and households, the most important allyship and support system in a child's life. I let them know that you are the first piece of armor that your child will ever receive. But they have that initial armor of support, of love and encouragement and understanding and compassion from their family, they'll be able to withstand all of those other trials and tribulations that will come their way. Alizé Baker found her armor of support at Lost and Found, and now she gives back to help others. Well, the sense of community is so much bigger than what I thought that it would be. Um, down from the older generation to the younger generation, it's been a, a sense of allies that are coming together. When someone says love is love, what does that mean to you? Love is love. Basically, it's just the meaning that you're loving the pure person that you love. Love is love, and love is gentle, love is kind, love is patient. Naima Abdullahi, 11 Alive News.